Hey there developers, it's Chad McRae. This is my second in-person video, so please go easy on me. Today I want to talk about inspiration. What inspires me uh, and what do I do with that inspiration? Some of what I do may inspire you and get your creative juices and others may not. Everybody's different and that's okay. It's taken me almost 20 years to learn these tricks and if I can even get just one of you inspired to work on a new project then I'll count this video as worthwhile. I'll start by talking about my current project, Ranger's Quest. What is Ranger's Quest, you ask? Ranger's Quest is a top-down, twin-stick shooter, platformer-esque game set in a fantasy realm. Check out my Ranger's Quest playlist for more information and developer's logs and even the release trailer. But with that background, let me talk about what inspired me to create Ranger's Quest. For the longest time as a console player, I've always enjoyed cooperative games, and when I met my wife, we enjoyed local cooperative games. We played everything that we possibly could, but eventually we ran out, or we played games that just really weren't interesting to us. One of our favorites is actually the Trine series. While difficult, yes, it actually required a lot of coordination and problem solving to come up with a solution to get us through the level. So I set out to create something similar. a game that you can play in short bursts of time in a game that takes the players through a unique scenery and storyline. But wait, you may be asking yourself, is Trine really the only inspiration for Ranger's Quest? Well, no. Let me go deeper into my story. In high school, the Lord of the Rings movie trilogy came out, and I really wasn't too impressed. But to satisfy all the requirements to graduate, I had to take a literature class, and there was a Lord of the Rings elective. And so I signed up, and the tests and the homework and the quizzes were all based on the books, not the movie. So I had to start reading the trilogy from the very beginning. And then I got hooked. How hooked, you ask? I'm still addicted to Middle Earth even now. I have books and movies, uh, the soundtracks, puzzles, little Funko toys, everything I can find about Lord of the Rings. Now, I didn't want to recreate Middle Earth in Ranger's Quest, but I wanted to create something similar, something that had that aura about it where you know just an everyday person was given a significant quest and they had to go out and find it even against all odds so with that fantasy setting and inspiration behind that there was another interest of mine that I wanted to incorporate in Ranger's Quest and that was Tim Burton I got inspiration from some of Tim Burton's movies his characters his storylines and even some of his color palettes that he's used in several of his films Tim Burton's Stories also usually involve a character like Frodo, uh, someone who doesn't have significant importance but the story is based around. And they have a significant story arc that takes you from beginning to end in a range of emotions. And that's exactly what I wanted to get across. And my last piece of inspiration actually doesn't come from a computer monitor or a TV screen, but actually just getting up and away and getting outside and enjoying the outdoors playing instruments like I play guitar or, or reading a book. As an example, in our social media accounts, a friend and I went to the re local Renaissance Festival last weekend and I put up pictures of us trying on armor and just enjoying being outside in the uh, fanfare and with all the costumes and everything. And luckily at the time of this video and the making of Ranger's Quest, the local Renaissance Festival is going on every weekend for almost another month. So now that you know what inspires Ranger's Quest, what can you do get, to get your creative juices going? Well, here are a few tips. Find inspiration in real life interests like movies, music, books, or even other games. Think, what do you like about that media? And is there something that you can take from there and kind of twist it around and make it your own? You could pick up a new hobby, learn an instrument, read a new book, watch a new television series, get outside and walk your neighbor's dog. It doesn't matter. Sometimes just getting away from the screen is the best advice I can tell you. Creativeness is thinking, not just sitting behind a computer screen and waiting for something to come to you. And the last piece I would say is sleep on it. Just the other night, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. with two new game ideas. I hadn't even thought of these ideas before, but I woke up, wrote them down on a piece of paper that I always keep in a notepad next to my bed, and went back to sleep knowing that in the morning, I would hopefully be able to read my handwriting and then uh, flesh out those ideas a little bit more. And I actually really enjoy both of these ideas and I've shared them with a couple people with pretty good response. So sleep with a notepad next to your bed and if you get those crazy ideas in the middle of the night, just write them down real quick 
and go to sleep knowing that in the morning you won't have forgotten what you wrote down and you can explore those ideas more. So those are just some quick tips. There's probably plenty more, but those are what I primarily do. If this video has helped you in any way, please hit like and hit subscribe because I'd love to get up to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you all for watching and have a good one.